All right, everyone. This is Fakifan, and uh, well, the good news is, uh, so, um, you know, I had ex I had some concerns with my mouse last time I made a let's play, but I knew what the problem was. Now, um, the problem with the mouse was every time I turned on the computer, for some reason, its sensitivity would change for no reason, and that's why I thought my mouse was broken because it would get less and less sensitive as time went on. Uh, I've managed to fix that, so now that's not a problem anymore. Uh, but the bad news is. Um, I'm gonna have to stop making videos for now. As you probably know, um, I'm kind of in dire money problems. Um, I'm, full disclosure: this is what this, this is basically er, the events that led to this moment. So, um, three or four years ago, I started going in 3D animation at uh, Matan, which is way up north nowhere land in Quebec, to start learning about 3D animation because I want to be a 3D animator. Because this fucking life cam sucks. So. Um, so I start studying, and uh, while I'm studying over there, uh, my dad dies, and uh, he he had been ill for a while. So um, yeah, so anyway, he uh, suddenly died while I was studying over there, and uh, well, we went to the funeral and all that crap, and uh, so I went back to studying without telling. I told almost no one except my closest friends. So uh, really, nobody over there really knows what the fuck's going on. But anyway, it started getting really hard, fucking you know, focusing on work and stuff, and uh, there's like, I started performing less well, of course, because my mind is all a fucking a shambles, and I, no, I, I started having problems with my team on the final project, and shit like that, and then I have problem with a particular class which I fail, and I, then I failed again, but anyway, overall, it goes okay, and I go uh, to university, but the problem is, since I failed one class, I don't have my diploma yet, and the university's like, alright, we're gonna accept you, but you need to pass this class, I'm like, alright, good. Sadly, I failed it again because uh, you'll never guess what. While I was u at university, then my grandmother died. Yeah, so that also kind of put a big punch on me. So now I start sucking at university, and I fail my class. I need to to accomplish to get my diploma, so I can't go to university anymore. So I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna go look for a job in 3D animation. After all, I have a good portfolio. I had it checked at a, um, not a convention, but like a place where like uh, people from the industry were, were there checking people's portfolio, like Ubisoft and um, like Powerball, a couple of companies like that. We actually played Super Smash, it was pretty fun, but anyway. Uh, so I go over there to check if my portfolio is good and the, the person who was evaluating me said, you have a good portfolio and like fix this, fix that and you'll be great. I'm like, all right, good, I do the fixes. So I send my portfolio and my uh, curriculum vitae, my curriculum, my resume a little bit everywhere to get a job in 3D. Suddenly it doesn't hook. Uh, I don't get a job. I tried a couple of places. It didn't work out pretty very well. So I'm starting to get very nervous and I have anxiety. I'm like, holy shit. And then I'm starting having more problems searching for a job because I'm so nervous. Like it in, it hinders my my pro my uh, my you know my my efforts to look for a job. So I have more and more troubles. Uh, finding a job. Luckily, my mom was there to help me out, so thank, thank her. Uh, so uh, yeah, so I, eventually I do find a job, not in 3D, because I, I just couldn't find a job in the domain I wanted to go. So I find like a job, like uh, you know, calling people and like selling insurance or shit like that. You know, the really crappy stuff. And I got unlucky because the the place I the place I was working at uh, started shutting down. Like when I came over there, we were 12 people working. When I started like officially working, we were only like nine. Then we became eight, seven, six, five. Yeah, eventually we were three people working in that place. So of course, everyone started coming. They shut the project down after only four months where I was there, and uh, they were gonna transfer me. But uh, at this point, I was like, "Who fuck that shit?" And I quit, which was not a smart move, I know. But uh, it was incre It was an incredibly stressful time. I hated my job. <laughs> The people I was working with were amazing, like the employees there were really great and my boss was one of the best people I ever knew, honestly, like, good on him. And uh, it's funny because when I quit, like, I, I was crying, like, in front of my boss and he was like, oh shit, and I was like, I can't, I can't fucking take it anymore, I quit. And my boss is like, it's only like three days until you, you get reassigned, you sure you want to quit? I'm like, I can't do it, I can't fucking do it, I quit. So I quit, and it's funny because while I was working there, I actually started having a lot of nightmares, like sleepless nights. It's like, holy shit, I fuck, man. At first, I thought it was only stress from, you know, working at a job and having pressure for sales and shit like that. But then I started realizing eventually, no, I just hated working there. I, I couldn't take it, so I had to quit. 
And anyway, so now I don't have a lot of money. I have I, I saved up a little bit of money from my work because I don't spend a lot of money, thankfully. So I have a little bit of a cushion. So I'm like, uh, what am I gonna do now? I have to search for another job and shit. And then my friend Kevin comes and he's like, dude, I'm gonna make a video game. And you wanna help me out? I'm like, this is it. I'm fucking like, this is my saving grace. I'm like, Kevin, we're gonna do this fucking game. So this is the game I'm working on uh, right now. Is uh, it's called Monster Meat. It's gonna be like some kind of arcade action platformer uh, for uh, you know mobile phones, tablets, and we're probably gonna try to put it on Steam uh, when we get there. It's not over yet, of course. We still have work to do. So anyway, I start working with Kevin, and uh, well, the problem we realized is that we needed a, pro a programmer because we were not really good programmers. I suck at programming, and he was having a hard time programming. So it was like we're we're gonna get a programmer. So I asked my friend to help me out, and he agreed. So we started working on that. The problem is he was also very busy so he couldn't really help us on the project so eventually uh, things happen I let him go we never paid him but you know we we're all we're all working for free because nobody has money and uh, so we hired we, uh, we I asked another one of my friends to help me out etc and uh, well you know I don't I don't I don't have any income so my, my money just keeps going down so I asked my mother for help and she said all right I'm gonna give you a one year you have one year to finish your game and I'll pay for like your food and your lodging so I'm like all right but the problem is now my mother is having financial troubles too because she uh, she has like to repair stuff around the house. She gets her she got her car stolen, uh, she got her bag uh, stolen. So she's losing money fast. She can't give me that cushion anymore. She, so she's like, uh, you're gonna have to move in your, with your brother. So this way we don't have to pay another rent and you know. So uh, now I'm with my brother who's I'm pointing, but he's not actually there. So I'm living with my brother right now and. Uh, so you know to cut on the money it costs to make me live basically and um, now the water broke there's a problem in the building with water so she needs to spend even more money on a plumber and shit like that which basically mean I don't have my one year cushion anymore basically my cushion is almost dried out I'm all, it's almost gone I don't have a lot of time left so I can't work on the channel anymore it's uh... I love this channel by the way I love you guys honestly I like making videos for you, it's awesome. I like drawing, I like playing video games, but uh, for now it's a hiatus. I can't, this fucking, this fucking webcam sucks ass. I can't really keep working on videos anymore because, uh, oh yeah, by the way, my uh, my uh, fucking headphones are broken then. Okay, it's fucking scotch tape. Because <laughs> I, can't, uh, I can't actually afford to fix that. Anyway, so. Uh, I'm gonna go on a hiatus with the channel. I'm not gonna make um, Let's Plays anymore, no more reviews for now. I'm gonna work full time on my video game because now my cushion is gone. Like, in two weeks, I'm doomed. I, either I find a crappy job, like working at a convenience store or whatever the fuck, which would suck because I have flat feet, which means I can't even stay up for too long or I, get, I start hurting. So anyway, so either I find a job, which is it's probably it's probably gonna end up happening. First world problems. So I need this fucking camera. I need to find a job. Basically, I need to work. I don't know where. Which kind of sucks because now my resume is gonna be like, hey, I work at a McDonald's or something. It's like you wanna do video games? What? So this game I'm I'm making right now with my friends is basically the only solution I have left if I ever want to enter the video game industry. Because uh, I couldn't get a job anywhere, because you know programmers get have a lot of jobs that they can find. But people like me, I'm not a programmer. I'm an animator. And when I started looking for a job, all of these posts were filled. They didn't need new animators, so I, I kind of got in at a really bad time, bad timing, basically. So this game is basically my last chance, like the dead or alive, for me to actually get in the video game industry and do what I want to do. Pray for me. So what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna stop working on the channel and I'm gonna go full time on my video game because what what I I have a plan. What I'm gonna do with my friends, uh, they're actually pretty busy. That's why they have a. That's why the game is taking so long. I'm gonna work like crazy on my game. I'm gonna create a Kickstarter so we can get a, uh, some money to afford um, someone who's gonna make music for us because we we're not music uh, composers. We don't have music for a game yet, so we're gonna get. Uh, I'm gonna try to. Like, you know, get this game going, start a Kickstarter so we can get some money to, like, pay for a musician. And on the side, pay for me, too, for the work we've done. Pay for me, for my friend, for my programmer friend. Because we're all working for free, basically, so get a little bit of money to keep us going and make this game really awesome. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. So, uh, 
I'll see you guys on the next review, eventually.